Hi, Andrew Camphy here with Better Sheets, helping you make better sheets every single day. Hi, welcome. Thomas is asking this question of restricting access to a cell if another cell is blank. Here's what the end result is. You have a name of something, you have the cost, and then we have some notes and we can say, hey, this is a heavy item. Great, that works awesome. And you have another name of something, you have another cost, and then you say, hey, we need to fix this. Great, works great. But say you have a name and you don't have a cost and you're like, we definitely need a cost before we put in any notes. So watch what happens here. Let's put in some notes. Cannot do it. How do we do this? I'll show you how restrict this column. I'm gonna do it cell by cell, but it'll be easy to copy and paste. We know like, okay, in this cell B, we, we're gonna get a cost if we have an item and we want C to be restricted until then. That's what we want to do in this particular case. We're going to right click. We're going to go down to view more cell actions, data validation. And click on data validation. Move my face over. Now in our criteria, well, one thing I want to point out is that we are using D2. Okay, we're in the D2 cell. And our criteria, we want to change this to custom formula. We're going to do equals. Now, the first thing I did was is blank. I just put up is blank in here, and I did C2. But this actually ended up being the exact opposite of what I wanted to do. If we find out we do a custom formula and we're getting the exact opposite, all we have to do is put a not at the beginning. This is blank. Now, right now I want to show warning. The other thing I did was reject input. I'll show you that next. All I want to do is show warning in this particular case. I wanna show you that it works. Now we have an item in C, we have a text in C2. We can do this. No problem whatsoever. Now let me delete that text. Let me copy and paste this down. We can actually do Command C, Shift Command down arrow, and I can Command V. And now we have data validation everywhere. We can actually right click data validation here, and we'll see it shows up. And check out this, the cell range that I'm in right now is D5. The one before that was D2. The custom formula changes automatically. So if, if we're on D5, it's C5 here. This is really helpful because we don't have to write this out every single time. We can copy and paste and the rows are gonna change. Let's see if this actually works. Hello, perfect, hello, perfect, hello. We get a warning. This little red in the corner is our warning. Cells content violates its validation rules. Perfect. But we don't want the text to actually show up. We don't want just a warning and say, hey, you couldn't really do this. We want to reject every text. We want to make sure people filling this in know, hey, you got to go do the other thing. You got to go fill in the other thing first. So let's do that. Let's do view more cell data validation. And all we're going to do is change it from show warning to reject input. We can also, actually, let me show you this. I'm going to do one more step after this. Let's save that. Let's copy paste it. I'm going to delete the text in there, but the data validation still remains. So we'll paste it all the way down. And now we go, hello, works. Hello, works. Hello doesn't work and we get an error. The data you entered in cell D4 violates the data validation rules. This is a very general notice, right? We want more specific. If, if someone else is using this sheet and we haven't talked to them, we haven't told them what to do, we want the, the error they get to be very explicit. Of what do they need to do to fix this thing? They're doing something now that's wrong, but we'll share with them something that is correct. We're gonna do one extra thing. We're going to show validation help text. And here it says enter a value that satisfies the formula. We don't want that. We want to write in some text. We want to say fill in C column first and hit save. Now we go, hello, it works. Hello, it works. Hello. The message has changed. Fill in C column first. Very general. Hey, data validation rules were, ah, you didn't follow them. Now we can give an actual message of fill in the C column first. I'm filling this in. I know exactly what I need to do first. I need to fill in the notes. I think actually I can't <laughs> do that because we have our other data validation there. Let's go back. We got to do expensive 
can do awesome it, we have now filled in the c column and now go hello there we can fill it in this is really cool really fun and interesting way to add steps and warnings into your sheet if people have difficulties knowing what order to fill things in now you can stop them in their tracks right away and restrict access to a cell if another cell is blank this is really fun if you have a good use case and you find this video helpful comment down below how you're using this what you're doing don't make any sheets make better sheets